It's been a minute since we've talked about Warhammer and Games Workshop, but they're back at it again, so we're going to cover it. Right now, we're parked at the Warhammer website, warhammer.com. And up here in the corner, there's Warhammer Community. And there's a post that was brought to my attention under the Rumor Engine. So if you just look at it as it is now, it's, it's fine. It just says, here we go, something undeniably Warhammer, unambiguous, a little gothic. It's got the lot. We don't even need to guess what this is really. I mean, you can see it right there. It's a torch. Now, I'm not a Warhammer guy. Maybe you guys know what this is. But if this is all it was, I really wouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> but that's not out there all there is. So they actually updated this. This is the new post. The original post said something a little bit different. So that Park Place published this article, Games Workshop and Warhammer Double Down on Inclusivity Virtue Signal, then delete it. They deleted it because it was a bad idea to post it. And once again, Games Workshop is going after their fan base. So here's the original post, ladies and gentlemen. Captured by Chains World 40K over on X. Games Workshop really went the extra mile for that BlackRock money. Virtual signaling and rumor engine. So I read you what the post says now. Here's what it originally said. And we'll just read the whole thing again. Here we go. Something undeniably Warhammer unambiguous. A little gothic probably carried by someone with breathtakingly outdated views on inclusivity, it's got the lot. We don't even need to guess what this is really. So did you catch what they took out? Well, yes, breathtakingly outdated views on inclusivity. So they're saying that the mob that came after them are nothing but bigots. So all the hate that they got recently over that stupid custody thing that they blew up and bumbled and fumbled and screwed screwed their fan base over with by attacking them, well, now they're doing it again. How dare you? You should just accept the changes we made to the lore. You were coming after us, huh? So They changed this. I don't know how long it took them to change it, but they changed it. I mean, as you can see on the post right here, there is nothing about people with outdated views on inclusivity uh, <laughs> carrying that torch. It's funny, man, to me. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you attacking your fan base still? So th this shows you they're still pretty damn upset over that custody thing where they decided they were going to introduce women to the emperor's army and his favorite children. Uh, they have decided that uh, you are still a piece of shit for that. Though they've pulled it back a little. But somebody thought it would be cool to put that in there, and they thought that they would get away with making that disappear. Oh, nobody would catch it, right? Wrong. They did. So they're back at it again. The rest of the article goes over a lot of the stuff that you already know, and uh, I've covered extensively, and so have others, but... It's just funny to me that they're just still going after fans. What a dumb move. As stated before, this is a niche hobby, and it's a very expensive hobby. Why would you go after your generous small fan base? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. But they're, they're here for it, and they're doing it again. So, you know, I hope that BlackRock money keeps flowing. I hope it keeps flowing in because you're going to have to figure something out because you are not an expense. You are not a cheap hobby. You're not a cheap hobby. You're an expensive hobby. Costs a lot of money to build up a Warhammer army. And in the age of 3D printers, you would think they would want to be just a little bit nicer. 
Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, are you are you surprised by this? Because I sure as hell am not. But you know, it's just funny. It's just funny to me anymore seeing shit like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.